Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through benign essential tremor. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash essential tremor or in the neurology section of the second edition of the Zero to Finals Medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge and help you remember the information for longer at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Benign essential tremor is a relatively common condition associated with older age. It's characterized by a fine tremor affecting all the voluntary muscles. It's most notable in the hands, but it can affect other areas, for example, causing a head tremor, a jaw tremor, and a vocal tremor. Let's talk about the features of benign essential tremor. It's a fine tremor with a 6 to 12 hertz frequency, meaning that it cycles at 6 to 12 per second. It's symmetrical, affecting both sides of the body. It's more prominent on voluntary movement, so when the patient reaches their hand out trying to do something, it makes the tremor more obvious. The tremor gets worse when the patient is tired, stressed, or has taken some caffeine. It tends to improve with alcohol consumption, and the tremor is absent during sleep. Let's talk about the differential diagnosis of a tremor. Benign essential tremor is diagnosed clinically based on the presenting features after excluding other causes of a tremor. Other important causes of a tremor include Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, Huntington's disease, hyperthyroidism, a fever, alcohol withdrawal symptoms, caffeine, and drug-induced, for example with antipsychotic medications. Let's talk about management. There's no definitive treatment for benign essential tremor. The tremor is not harmful and it doesn't require treatment if it's not causing functional or psychological problems. Options for managing the symptoms are propranolol, which is a non-selective beta blocker, and primidone which is a barbiturate anti-epileptic medication. Research has consistently shown that testing yourself after learning a topic has a powerful effect on how long you retain that information. This is known as the testing effect. Studying and then testing yourself results in longer lasting and stronger recall on that information when tested at a later date, even when compared with additional study sessions. If you're preparing for a medical exam and you're not regularly testing your knowledge and practicing your recall, you're failing to maximize your potential. The Zero to Finals member site contains flashcards, short answer questions, multiple choice questions and extended matching questions that are purpose built to supplement the Zero to Finals content, helping you build your internal database of knowledge and take advantage of the powerful testing effect. If you like the Zero to Finals notes, books, videos and podcasts, then you'll love the member's site.